Dow Jones and Nasdaq both traded with a slightly bullish bias, however, almost trading flat with respect to last week's closing. So now what to expect today, which position you should take in order to profit trading Dow Jones and Nasdaq, we will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the live market analysis. Also, you can join my free telegram channel where you get the live updates. The link is mentioned in the channel and video description. Let's start. First, we'll look into Tech 100 followed with Dow Jones. Do watch till the end. On the hourly charts for US 100, you will find 13.825 levels. There is a wall out here which needs to be breached, which needs to be taken away in order for NASDAQ 100 to trade bullish. Hence, I will wait for it to break past 13. 825 and then 13850 levels if these two are taken then certainly us 100 should be considered for a reversal now see it was trading bearish here it is trading sideways here in this box now if you look at the movement here also you will find taking the support from the 50 period moving average it is trying to rise and this zone becomes critical 13825 to 13850 and then 13880 levels these three levels once nasdaq 100 breaches it is going to fly high the stock ISTIC is seen rising, MACD is bearish trying to converge, crossover for a buy entry, RSI almost trading flat and if you look at the 2 hour charts, now look at 2 hour charts, see lower highs, lower lows, see there is a reversal sign also and hence it has to break past 13.830 levels in order to confirm a little reversal there till 13.850, 13.880 levels. The stock ISTIC has dropped, MACD is still bearish, RSI almost flat look at 3 hour charts on the 3 hour chart see similar is the observation there is a reversal sign and that is why i say it has to stay above 13830 levels in order to confirm a rise a stock ISTIC has dropped macd bearish rsi very near to the overbought zone likewise on the 4 hour charts similar is the observation here on the downside now See, 13,750, 720, this zone is going to provide a very good support for NASDAQ 100. Once it stays below 13,720, you can say that a 20 period moving average, once it beaches, we may see it hitting till towards 13,640, 13,600, 580 levels also. Now see, it was trading with the divergence from the 50 period, 20 period moving average. It has come close to it now. If you see the stock ISTIC which has dropped earlier now trying to recover here on the upside. On the other hand the MACD is still divergent, is still bearish, it is still looking down and this crossover is happening at a higher level plus 100 and above and hence this may continue with the downward move. RSI was overbought, it has cooled down a bit and if you look at the daily charts. Now look at the daily charts also, see this is trading with divergence from the 20 period and hence see probably in couple of days we may see the moving average looking upwards and then 13500, 600 levels are uh, certainly going to be a good support there and it can try to achieve those levels before looking forward to a bounce back. Now see certainly moving averages are trading with divergence, this is a bullish indication here. Hence for the day once you see it trading below 13750 you can sell here. Expect 13,720 and 13,700 below that 13,640, 600. So below 13,750 more bearishness may prevail. Specifically, I'll be looking forward to 13,720 levels to be breached for more bearishness there on the downside. On the upside beyond 13,830, yes, you can buy. However, 850, 880 levels to be breached in order to confirm the rise there on the upside. And hence, you have to trade with caution. See, daily stock ISIC is also overbought. MACD is also bullish here. The RSI is also overbought and hence, little conversion, little drop cannot be denied if it stays below 13,750 levels then and then only. Take your trades accordingly. Trade with the stop loss. Trade with the trailing stop loss. Now, let's have a look at Dow Jones. And before I provide you the levels here, yes, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, you should join my mentorship batch. The 22nd batch starts on 5th of June now. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, you can be part of my signals channel. We are trading as per the signals. You can benefit and uh, reach out to the same IDs for say, uh, more details on signals channel also. Now, look at the early charts for US 30. Here you can see the bullishness. Now it is back to this no trade zone. There were swings up and down. Now it is back to this. Now what does this zone means for US 30? You can see 33,450 and 33,500 levels. Hence, 
let it stay above 33450 and 33500 zone then you can say we are going to look at 33600 and 33800 levels this time now what it has done you can see this already see the rise retracement rise retracement higher lows are formed here higher lows higher highs which means it has got very good up move left also if you look at the early chart see the drop retracement a uh, drop uh, rise so it is forming the cycle there hence above 33500 levels confirm it for a good rise a stock i stick over bot macd also crossing over a bottom at bottom and trading with divergence looking upwards rsi almost flat look at the 2 hour charts on the 2 hour charts also see the candles there on the downside now it has to break past 33370 33350 levels in order to trade bearish rather i will wait for it to break past 33350 levels for it to confirm a drop the stock i stick is seen rising mac be seen converging here it is trading bearish rsi is also looking up for trading with little bullishness and if you look at the 3 hr charts on the 3 hr charts certainly we are seeing bullishness but let it stay above 33450 and you can stay long for 33500 and 600 levels now 33500 very good resistance and 550 also see 550 600 good resistance zone till 33600 put a 50 point trailing stop loss stochastic is seen rising mac b is bearish trying to converge rsi almost flat and if you look at the 4 hr charts this is the second green candle on the upside we have to wait for it to stay above 33450 and then more bullishness for 500 550 levels and then 600 can also be expected stock stick is coming out of the oversold zone seen rising macd is bearish rsi flat and on the daily charts now look at daily charts here see 20 and 50 period exponential and simple moving average 20 period simple moving average 500 levels so this levels until 33600 also i will say very very strong resistance exists for dow jones but at the same time look at the flat bottom here at 33350 300 till 33300 do not consider this as bearish stock i stick has dropped macd is seen converging rsi almost flat considering this stay long above 33450 on us 30 you can expect 500 550 600 beyond 60 600 we may see it hitting this time 33800 levels very very soon on the downside below 33300 only bearishness will prevail you can sell at 33350 itself expect 33300 very good support and below that it is going to crash heavily on the downside for 33100 33000 levels take your positions accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a tailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch and signal channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email id are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you